Hey there, future ethical hackers. Ever wondered how security researchers find those nasty vulnerabilities or how websites get hacked? Well, today we're going to explore a tool that can help you understand these things, AL hacking. Now, before you get any ideas, let's be crystal clear. Hacking without permission is illegal. It's like picking a lock on someone's door without their consent. A big no-no. AL hacking is designed for ethical purposes only meaning you use it to learn about security and protect systems, not exploit them. Think of AL hacking as a virtual playground for cybersecurity enthusiasts. It provides a safe environment to experiment with various hacking techniques, understand how attacks work, and learn how to defend against them. The best part is, it's designed with beginners in mind. You don't need to be a coding wizard or a tech guru to get started. So, buckle up, put on your ethical hacking hats, and let's dive into the world of AL hacking. We're about to embark on an exciting journey into the realm of cybersecurity. Let's talk about the good guys in the digital world, ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers. Unlike their malicious counterparts, ethical hackers use their skills for good. They help companies find and fix security holes before the bad guys can exploit them. Imagine you're building a house. You wouldn't wait until after a storm to realize your roof leaks, right? Ethical hackers are like construction inspectors for the digital world. They help identify weaknesses in systems before they become major problems. AL hacking gives you the tools to think like an ethical hacker. You'll learn how to test security, identify vulnerabilities, and understand the methods attackers use. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Always use AL hacking ethically and legally. This means only using it on systems you own or have permission to test. Unauthorized hacking is illegal and can land you in serious trouble. We're here to learn and protect, not to break the law. All right, let's pop the hood and see what AL hacking has to offer. This tool is packed with features that simulate real-world hacking scenarios, all within a safe and controlled environment. One cool feature is social media security testing. You can use AL hacking to see how secure your social media accounts really are. It can help you identify weak passwords, phishing attempts, and other vulnerabilities. Another powerful feature is the ability to simulate denial of service, DOS, attacks. Don't worry, it's all virtual. This feature helps you understand how attackers can flood a website with traffic, making it unavailable to legitimate users. But that's not all. AL hacking also includes tools for network scanning, password cracking, and much more. It's like having a Swiss army knife for ethical hacking providing a wide range of tools for different scenarios. With AL hacking, you'll gain practical experience with common hacking techniques. This hands-on approach makes learning fun and effective, allowing you to grasp the concepts much faster than just reading about them. Ready to get your hands dirty? Let's set up AL hacking on your system. The process is surprisingly straightforward. First, you'll need a computer running Kali Linux. Think of Kali Linux as the operating system of choice for ethical hackers. It comes preloaded with a bunch of security tools, including AL hacking. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Linux. There are tons of resources available online to guide you through the installation process. Once you have Kali Linux up and running, you can launch the terminal and use a few simple commands to install AL hacking. The installation process might seem a bit intimidating at first, but trust me, it's easier than it looks. Just follow the instructions carefully, and you'll be up and running in no time. Remember, even the most experienced hackers started somewhere. Every expert was once a beginner. Section 5. Navigating the AL Hacking Interface Now that you have AL Hacking installed, let's take a look around. The interface is designed to be user-friendly, even if you're new to this whole hacking thing. You'll find a menu with various categories, each representing a different set of tools and functionalities. For example, you'll see sections for network scanning, web application testing, password cracking, and more. Each category contains a set of tools that you can use to perform specific tasks. For instance, under network scanning, you'll find tools to identify devices connected to a network, scan for open ports, and map out the network structure. Don't be afraid to explore the interface and experiment with different tools. The more you use AL hacking, the more comfortable you'll become with its features and functionalities. Remember, practice makes perfect. Section 7. Advanced Features and Integrations As you become more comfortable with AL hacking, you can start exploring its more advanced features.
For example, Alabama hacking integrates with other powerful tools like GhostEye, which takes fishing simulations to a whole new level. GhostEye allows you to create highly realistic phishing pages and track their effectiveness. You can see who clicked on your links, what information they entered, and how susceptible they were to the attack. These advanced features open up a world of possibilities for ethical hacking and security testing. By combining the power of AL hacking with other tools, you can perform comprehensive security assessments and identify vulnerabilities that might otherwise go unnoticed. Section 8. Understanding the mechanics behind the tools. While using tools like AL hacking is fun and educational, it's crucial to remember that these tools are just that tools. The real power lies in understanding the underlying concepts and principles of cybersecurity. Don't just focus on learning how to use the tools. Strive to understand how they work, why they work, and the vulnerabilities they exploit. This deeper understanding will make you a more effective ethical hacker and a valuable asset in the fight against cybercrime. Think of it like this. You can learn to drive a car without understanding how the engine works. But if you want to be a mechanic or build a better car, you need to dive deeper into the mechanics. The same principle applies to ethical hacking. Knowledge is your most powerful tool. Section 9. Continuing Your Ethical Hacking Journey Congratulations! You've taken your first steps into the exciting world of ethical hacking. But remember, this is just the beginning. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving, and there's always something new to learn. Don't be afraid to experiment, explore, and push your limits. Join online communities, participate in Capture the Flag, CTF competitions, and never stop learning. The more you invest in your cybersecurity education, the more valuable you become in this ever-growing field. Remember, ethical hackers play a vital role in making the digital world a safer place. By using your skills for good, you can help protect individuals, organizations, and even entire nations from the threat of cyber attacks. So go out there, learn, grow, and make a difference.